Welcome everybody to part two of our investigation of the Tewksbury Hospital in Tewksbury, Massachusetts, formerly the Tewksbury Hospital for the Insane. One thing about this video I think you should pay attention to is at the end there's a section where the ghosts just sort of take off and you can hear the ghost box just running on its own with nothing affecting it and it's just gibberish. So that's really, really interesting. It shows that ghost box really do pick up some sort of voices and you might want to make note of that. So if you listen all the way through the end, you'll hear that. Right now I am sitting in the parking lot of the Tewksbury Mental Hospital looking at one of the outbuildings that has been abandoned. They have a very large drug rehab program in this area. Apparently some relatively famous people or famous people go to it and if you photograph them or if they accidentally get photographed, they will collect your equipment and may even keep it. Uh, they're very sensitive about that. So I'm going to load my tablet and see what we get. I know it's daytime. And it's a little bit harder to manifest in the daytime, but is there anyone here who, who'd like... Hi. I, could you tell me your name? I, I heard a lot of people lived here, and I heard a lot of people died here. If you died here, can you tell me your name? I know that sometimes I won't be able to understand what you say until I play back this tape. And I want you to understand that as well. So can you understand? I hope you can understand what I say. Is there anyone here who'd like to talk to me? This is a recording device that can record you so I can tell the world what happened to you here. Is there some place else you want me to go that you can talk easier? Okay, I'm going to try another box, another communication box. Is that okay? I'm not sure. And I'm going to try the... Uh, wonder box. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm able to talk to you. Can you talk to me? Is there anything you'd like to say? You can use this. Just focus on what you want to say, and this will tell me. Can you tell me why you were here? Can you tell me what illness brought you here? So stay tuned for part three when we bring it to the cemetery where the barely marked graves are stuck in the woods. Say hi to my service dog, Austin. He's not that spooky, but he really is amazing. He's my service dog. <laughs>